Uh, God has called women to uh, lives that are, are home-centered. And what that has to, has to mean is that uh, they can glorify God in uh, the life that God has given them centered in the home. Uh, because our, our purpose is to glorify God, and so if God has uh, pointed you at a certain kind of life, you must be able to glorify God that way. Uh, to, to young women, I would, uh, I would say a couple of things. Uh, one is do, don't underestimate your ability to glorify God in the home. A, a healthy, productive home doesn't magically happen. Uh, it, it happens through, uh, through diligence, through uh, care, uh, through hard work, and uh, the second thing, and, and, and so, so give yourself to diligence and care and, and hard work in the home so that the home can be healthy and productive. A healthy and productive home is, uh, is beautiful and wonderful and helps the, the members of that home live healthy and productive lives. And uh, so, so give yourself to that and it glorifies God. The second thing is uh, a, a home-centered life doesn't have to be a home confined life. Uh, your activities can be centered on the home, but that doesn't mean you're always at home, that all happens within the, the four walls of the home. So, so don't, don't think that you're being called to a life that never goes off the property. I think the, the, the women who are, are running homes in very effective ways find themselves out and about doing a number of, of activity and having variety in their day and being off the property a, a fair amount even though their activities are centered on the home. Don't, don't feel like you're confined to the property.